Imagine that one day a baby is in the womb and God speaks to it and says, you're going to have to leave this place. The baby says, why, why would I ever leave this place? It's dark and it's warm. It's safe. I can feel my mother's heartbeat. Why, why would I ever leave this place? I love it here. God says, if you don't leave this place, you'll never see the brown in your mother's eyes. You'll never see the smile of pride on your father's face. If you don't leave this place, you'll never know what it means to run for the pure joy of running. Or stand on a mountaintop and see the vistas. You'll never feel the breeze on your face. Or stand in the ocean and let its rolling waves wash your cares away. You'll never know love's first kiss or the feeling of holding your own baby boy. The baby said, what is brown anyway? I've never seen a mountain or even heard of an ocean. You know, I, I think maybe I better just stay right here. And God smiled and said, no. You're going to have to leave. That's just the way it is. So the baby said, okay, will it hurt? And because God is honest, he said, yes, but it'll be worth it. And the day came and the pressure was intense and the baby cried out and said, I thought you loved me, God. And God said, I do. Just hold on. And the baby was born into a world of sights and sounds and experiences that he'd never even imagined. The baby said, God, why didn't you tell me it was this beautiful? God said, I tried. You just couldn't understand. Well, the baby boy grew up and he had a full life and he lived into his 80s. And one day God came to him and said, you're going to have to leave this place. And now an old man said, leave this place? No, no. There are things I haven't seen. There are works I haven't accomplished. I have a wife I love more than my own life. And kids and grandkids and great-grandkids, and there's more on the way. There are books I haven't read and oceans I haven't crossed. There are things I haven't done. I don't want to go. God said, if you don't leave this place, you'll never know what it's like to walk the streets paved with pure gold. You won't know what it's like to live in a mansion, to have me wipe every tear from your eye, to have no more pain or death, for everything to be fresh and perfect. The old man said, you know, I don't really need gold anymore. And pearls, my wife doesn't wear them. Most of the wisdom I've gained came to me through tears and difficulty. So if it's okay with you, I think I'll just stay here. And God smiled and said, no, you're going to have to leave. That's just the way it is. The old man asked, will it hurt? Because God's honest, he said, yes, maybe more than you've ever hurt in your entire life but it'll be worth it. And the day came and the pain was intense. And the old man cried out, where are you, God? I thought you loved me. And God said, I do, just hold on. A few minutes later, he came into a world where there was no more limitation. 
no more pain, where no one ever hurts you and no one ever wants to, where you can work and sing and live and rejoice and never get tired. The man looked at God and said, why didn't you tell me it was this wonderful? God said, I tried. You just couldn't understand. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him.